Really? A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy? Not to say it's wrong, but with all the lords and knights in King's Landing... Truly, it's nothing, Sarah. He's a friend. Really? Is that so? Come on. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. You can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well, first of all, his name's Garibald, and he has this really funny accent. He told me the cleverest story about this festival they have where... Hoa, 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 hoa. I've given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamir? I trust you've chosen all the standards. But just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace. My Lady. Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his King's Guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we... What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I, uh... If you're going your to grace, speak out of turn, girl... I... You should finish what you start. We do as you command, your grace. And we'll spend the feast wherever it pleases you. You'll spend it mopping the stables, if I please. I asked your handmaiden, here at the Iron Throne, whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the king. She chose you. Yet now, she puts the king first. I'm surprised you'd let such swings of loyalty go unchecked. In any case, it's settled. The King's Guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. Of course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. What did she mean by that? You and Tyrion? What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. I... I haven't done anything wrong, my lady. That's not how it seemed. Queen Cersei made it seem like much more than that. Sarah, what do you know of this? Mira would never go against your wishes, my lady. What am I to think, Mira? I've only ever tried to help you. Why are you making trouble for me? Please, Lady Marjorie, trust me. I know what I'm doing. I've learned from the best. I don't have the time or patience for your games, Mira. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. I'm sorry, my lady. I made a mistake. It won't happen again. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. Wo bitte ist das Problem, dass sie äh hm. Roderick, it's the White Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. They want to see us cower. What in damnation are they doing? They just showed up here, started banging their shields. I'll need my sentinel. Go ahead, Talia, and have Royland meet me in the courtyard.
Ladescreens über Ladescreens. Und da geht's weiter. What is this? It's a parade of dead men if I have my way. this come out and face me <laughs> those are strong words for a cripple who can't carry a sword all of you show your respect to griff whitehill fourth born son of lord lud whitehill and commander of this garrison cocky roderick we used to call you swinging your prick round Lording it over my family. Now look at you. Hey? Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognize you. But the name fits, don't it? Make no mistake, Griff. I'm still the Lord of Ironrath, and I run this house. That sounds like the old Roderick. Beating his chest every chance he got. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now. And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. What? You can't. You'll have to go through me. I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. Maybe that's how foresters live. But not us. I don't care if you're happy or not. You'll quarter where I tell you. I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men right. I've heard what you've done. And if they're eating wormy bread, then your people better be eating shit off the ground. I'm not here to keep them in line. I'm here to keep you in line. You think you're being clever? I've seen to it. Your men have the same provisions mine do. Times are hard. Well, they're treated as guests. As they should be. This is against the King's law. You've no right to make such demands. I have every right. We're here under the orders of Roos Bolton, Warden of the North. So I will be in your halls. I will be in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody well please. You can't do this, little bastard. You can't just do whatever... We'll do what we were sent here to do. You're here to keep watch on your soldiers. That's all. Don't act as if you're something more. You aren't listening, Roderick. And that's a dangerous fucking habit for a cripple. Now, me and my men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your army can stop me. No. You know better than that. You know where we'll be. This is outrageous. Roderick! You can't go in there. We can and we will. Unless you want this all to end right now, eh? I'm the only lord here. Come on. Griff Whitehill. Snot nose fourth bone. Parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof, soiling our house. I know you tried to stop them, my lord. But we can only take this occupation for so long. Our people will break. And the way Griff Whitehill came in, whether he rides out on horseback, or ends up in the ground. Griff Whitehill won't be here long. I'll see to it. Very good, my lord. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles, or the end of them. We need to look at all the pieces. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms, and cut down our trees. 
all the way from here to High Point. How do we kill a snake, then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan. He carved these soldiers himself. Ramsay Snow killed Ethan. What's to stop the White Hills from doing the same to Ryan at High Point? You can't forsake his safety. But we have to do something. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for. Get Ryan out, and bring him home. Once he's safe, we can face the White Hills head on. And what of Criff and his men? But we can only take this occupation for so long. Speak true! Would you just let Ryan die? No, my lord. Roderick is right. We are nothing if we leave Ryan behind. Then... It's decided. We're bringing Ryan back. We still don't have the men to hold our own home, let alone Storm High Point. We lost most of our men with Gregor at the Twins. Thankfully, Roderick secured an alliance with the Glenmores. But those forces mean nothing until after the marriage. That means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asher means to sail home from Essos with a company of hardened sellswords. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asher and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith in my children. I don't think Lud Whitehall will kindly stand by while we pull ourselves together. Our very lives and the future of House Forrester are at stake. We have to let them try. It's the only way. Then we hold fast. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing. So I have much to prepare, and men to train. My lord? My lord, there may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. Lord Whitehill's daughter? The very same. After the hells that came from her and Nasha. Despite all that, she's willing to meet with you. I may not be your sentinel, but please consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. Do you think she can be trusted? It's possible she has other motives. But it's a chance to learn more about our enemies. We need to take it, and I'll make sure no one else knows. For now, at least. Good. Handle things right with Gwyn, and she may even help us in High Point, when the time comes. The question is only on itself if it's schlau is. In diese Richtung zu schlagen. I want the dove pie served with a spoon of lemon cream. We'll have to let the kitchens know. And these flowers. They're just all wrong in the crown lands. Mira, are you listening to me? Lady Marjorie, good tidings to you today. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. And you, Lady Mira, a word in private, if I may. I'll return her shortly. Who would I be to deny Lord Tyrion? Very soon you'll be the queen. And if you're anything like the current one, you'll deny me all you like. I'm sorry, Lord Tyrion, but Lady Marjorie needs me. Very well. Just know that matter we discussed. <clears throat> A royal decree sits on my desk now. 
And I'll have my squire Podrick see to it at the first opportunity. I thought you would want to know. Good news on a day that is already blessed. I'm sorry, I don't know what you mean, my lord. But of course you don't. Forgive me, I must be confusing my handmaids. I should be more careful when it comes time to call in a favor. Enjoy the festivities. Goodbye, Lord Tyrion. Lady Marjorie, welcome to the family. For better or worse. Lord Tyrion. You said you'd done nothing wrong. But now Tyrion Lannister, the Master of Coin, comes looking for you. Obviously, this is not nothing. What's this talk of a royal decree? You know I didn't want you talking to him. Today of all days. Please, my lady. It doesn't mean anything. Really. Tyrion Lannister is a very cunning man. Don't think you know all he's up to. House Forrester already has so few friends at court. And when this decree becomes public, you may find you have even fewer. You disappoint me, Mira. We'll talk about this after the wedding. Sarah will help me with my gown and hair. But... Come with me, Sarah. Karen! Easy now. Sorry. I was just... Keeping at the ready. That's good. Don't lose that. I understand your uncle paid you a visit. What did he want? Not many people passed through here. What brought him this far? He was just delivering ironwood shields for the Night's Watch. Good. Our stocks are running low. I know it couldn't be easy seeing him, but you have to leave all that behind. Especially now that you're a ranger. Aye. I know you had told me you could stand with these men, but not every brother's a friend, if it came to it. And you were in trouble north of the Wall. Any of them you'd trust by your side. You know these men. Who do you want watching your back? No one, then. You need allies, Garrett. A lone wolf won't last long in these parts. Errolt Holt of White Harbor. Corliss Wells from Stony Sept. And finally, we've got more spawn of nobility joining us. No. Britt Warwick of House Whitehill. It can't be. Check House Whitehill. Make sure you're not bringing any this one to the Boltons. It'll be a hot meal in the mess hall. After that, we'll be sorting out gear at the armory. Gary. It'll be practice swords to Gary, start. what's the matter? Don't want anyone you know him. Their balls. Come on! Get moving! Garrett, who is he? That man murdered my family. What? Snow! See these new recruits to the maester. Don't do something you'll regret. If it isn't the fucking pig farmer. I'm here because of you. Got sent to the wall for that little party I do with your family. Don't think it's over. Best watch your back. What are you waiting for, recruit? Personal invitation from the king? Talk all you like. You'll be dead before you take the black. Careful now. Didn't end so well for you last time. That's enough. Both of you. I said move! I'll be seeing you, farm boy. <laughs> <laughs> 